Hello everyone, Tiffany Manger here, and I'm just going to do a card tutorial this time. I haven't done one of those in a while, and I'm going to call this one the, um, what do I want to call it? Winter Wind Christmas, maybe, I guess we'll call it, or maybe just Winter Wind. A uh, funny story about this card, um, I needed to go to a meeting where we were doing a swap, and a swap is when you make... Um, a couple of the same design card and you trade it with everybody and you were supposed to focus on the pr on products in the new holiday catalog well at the time I only had one product from the holiday catalog and that was this here the Star of Light stamp set and there is a matching framelit set to it you can order it as a bundle but I only have the stamp set and so I was like well what am I gonna do with just this stamp set and I seen on Pinterest this really pretty card where they took, and one of the reasons why I bought this stamp set was I love this little wisp here of stars. And that was one of the big reasons why I bought it that, and I liked all the sayings in it. And I seen where they took the tree from the sheltering tree stamp set and the leaves and had this going so it looked like the le the wind was blowing the leaves off. And I was like, that's cool. So I'm going to case that. And then I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Why don't I do a wintry scene? And that's what I got here. So it kind of looks like a little gust of winter, snowy wind going on. And I'm going to show you how to do this card here. So first off, for your card stock, let me get this stuff out of the way here. You're going to need your base and then cut a base out. You're going to do... Uh, eight and a half by five and a half and you'll score it at four and a quarter so that would be your base and then for your other pieces you're gonna need you're going to need your card front which is four by five and a quarter inches you're gonna need your white piece here which is two and three fourths by three and a half inches Let me move that there for you you're going to need another piece of Knight of Navy. That's what this is too, Knight of Navy. Two and a half this way by three and a quarter. Then you're going to need a piece of Whisper White. That's also that Whisper White. Two and a quarter by one inch. And then you're going to need one little piece of Knight of Navy at two inches by three quarters of an inch. And this background here, I did this in basic black. I might change it up along with this here. This I used our glimmer paper. So you can see it's a sparkly paper, but I just changed it up because I'm going to be making these for a swap um, to this Whisper White here. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take all of our little pieces aside and we're going to work from biggest to smallest. So we're going to take our four by five and a quarter here and we're going to run this through the big shot. And the big shot on this one here, I use the star folder. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to use our softly falling folder. It kind of looks like snow falling down. I just got this, so I figured I want to play with it. And also, I think it might look a little better with this card. So you would just put your card stock in there. Like a sandwich, we're going to get the big shot out. I haven't shared this in a while. Hopefully I don't knock anything up. All right. Oh, let me get my card stock lined up here. All right. Put make our sandwich. Whoops! I'm sorry. I just bumped the camera. <laughs> get that to stand still and focus. All right. And then we're just gonna run this through here. I'll probably end up shaking the camera, moving this around. Whoops. My little tab just flipped up. I can see how this is going to go. It's just been a very long week. I've been wanting to get this done all day, and I have too many obstacles. So there we go. There is our embossed piece. So let me set that aside. Get the big shot out of the way. Right before I went to film, I lost my folder. I must have spent a good 10, 15 minutes looking for it. So, all right, now we set that aside. Now we're gonna take our little 
two and a half by three and a quarter piece. I'll set this down. And then we're going to take the tree from Sheltering Tree. You can see I use this one a lot. And we're going to take our black momentum ink. And we're going to ink them up. I figured this card's kind of different too because I very, very rarely do a card where the white is actually used as an accent and not the piece that you actually stamp on. So, okay. We're going to line him up and stamp him. There we go. We have our tree in our dark starry night and then we're going to add all the snow stuff. So I'm using the Whisper White Craft Ink. And first off what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, I took the little ground piece from the Sheltering Tree stamp set. I'm going to ink this up. I don't want to ink it up too much. I just want a nice light white. So we're just going to stamp this here. To make it look like a little mound of snow. There we go. And then while the white is still out, we're going to take the little wisp piece from the Star of Light and we're going to ink it up. And as you've seen, I didn't ink up the whole entire thing. Just a part of it. And then you're going to tilt it to any which way you want the wind to be blowing. So I think that will look good. Stamp it down. There we go, we got our little winter wind. And while we, we can set this aside, white ink does take a little bit to dry. You can also use your heat gun to dry it. So we're gonna take our little two inch by three quarters of an inch piece here while we still have the white out. And we're gonna use the saying, a little Christmas spirit brightens all the world. We're gonna ink that up in the white too. And then we're going to line this up and stamp this on here. All right. Get this off. There we go. So move that out of the way. All right. This is a very quick and easy card. So now we just need to mount all of our pieces. We're going to take our white piece here, our two and three fourths by three and a half. And let me pick up this guy here. We're going to take our navy stamped piece and we're going to add some snail adhesive and here we go and we got our pretty white border and then we're going to take our two and a quarter by one inch piece and we're going to mount this very careful it's still wet so I will probably end up smudging it And there's our border for that. Kind of there we go. See the white's still wet. You can take a heat gun to seal that also. All right. Normally I would mount this first on a card, like so, my card front. But I'm planning on using this as a swap, so I'm not going to stick this on a card. So we'll just say it's on a card here. Here's our finished card. Then we're going to take our little piece here. I'm just going to take some snail and adhere him down in the corner. Like that. And again, I'll tap it down. Hopefully I don't get the white on me. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals. Let me find my dimensionals. Here we go. Dimensionals. And you know me, the dimensional hoarder. I cut mine in half because I sparingly use my dimensionals. It's quicker to just stick them on, but you know me. <laughs> I'm pretty well known as a dimensional hoarder. I, I hoard a lot of the products. I try to stretch it out. That's what you get when you're on the dreaded budget hoard. All right. So then we're just going to stick this here. And to give it a little more sparkle, I have the clear Wink Stella brush and I'm just gonna trace over the little stars that are in the wisp quickly 
like so. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on the camera or not. And then I just kind of dotted it too throughout there. It's just that, you know how that night light hits that snow? It just gives a pretty glisten. There we go. Finished here, I will stick it on the back of this to show you what it would look like. I think it would look white on, pretty on a white card too. See the sparkle? If you want to add some more sparkle, you could go around your edges there. You could also um, dot some of your, go a random. I kind of like that with a little random glisten. Because if you know me, I love sparkle. So I have a habit of over sparkling things. So just kind of randomly color in your, your Castella. There we go. See that extra sparkle. Voila, isn't that beautiful and very quick to do. So that's it. If you like what you've seen, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I try to do a new video every week and I love sharing my craft with you all. If you're interested in ordering any of these Stamping Up products, such as our folders, our stamp sets, our cardstock, whatnot, please check out my website, www.tiffanymanger.stampinup.net. If you have any questions, you can just answer them down below, and I'll try to answer them, or else you can check out my Facebook page, Tiffany Manger Stampin' Up Demonstrator. Um, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back again, and have a nice day.